Good day, everyone, and uh, welcome to this Investor Intel interview. My name is Mario Drolet. Today, we have the pleasure to have with us Mr. Andre Laron, president of Diagnos, a publicly traded company dedicated to the detection of a critical health problem. Good day, Andre, and welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Andre, it's a great day today for a Diagnos. As we saw this morning, uh, part new partnership with New Look uh, coming out. Uh, can you outline to us uh, the basic of the transaction for the company and the shareholders going forward? Thank sure. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so for us, we're we're very lucky. Uh, so we've signed a seven-year agreement with New Look, a, uh, and uh, and I, there is a, some kind of uh, uh, what I say a puzzle in, in the press release because we talk about Iris, but Iris belongs 100% to New Look, but we signed the agreement with New Look. And it's a seven-year agreement. It's very strategic for us because uh, during the pandemic, our initial markets were government and uh, hospitals and clinics. And because they all shut down, uh, most of them anyway, because of COVID, so we had to reinvent ourselves and find a new market. And then the new market for us is optometry stores and optometry chains. And so this agreement is very strategic for us. Uh, the contract covers three things. One is our existing platform. So they're taking our existing platform and putting what we're going to put a, a uh, call it a optometry interface to it versus a doctor interface. So all the optometrists at New Look will be using the same platform. Uh, the second component is we're going to be developing, co-developing a new application to monitor glaucoma uh, to um, you know most of the patients they have. And so uh, we'll be paid to do that. So it's not free, but we're also going to get paid on the uh, per transaction fee after. Uh, and thirdly, uh, they want access to our new application that we've been developing and that we announced a, uh, a proof of concept for uh, predicting a stroke. And so uh, we are going to a clinical trial environment uh, very, very soon. And you will see this announced very soon within a couple of weeks. And uh, so they want access to uh, that test also. So basically, uh, this year, we're going to roll out our solution over the next 12 months to 406 sites. Now, those are the sites they have today, but uh, New Look is on a growth uh, tra trajectory and they will be buying more banners in the US and, and in Europe. So we will grow our platform with them as they grow. So over the next 12 months, we'll be installing all these sites. And next year, we're looking at anywhere between five and $8 million in revenue uh, just with that customer. Wow. Um, so that's about it. Then the big the big lines of, is that I'm not gonna go in <laughs> into. To it's pretty anything. amazing, but somebody who knows this kinds of business, you know, like you just can have with 406 location, uh, let's say a three four scan every day, uh, and the type of money that's involved here, it could it could ramp up. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some very uh, 2022 interesting numbers in terms yeah, of. This year will be good. This year will be good too. We're gonna revenue this year. We're gonna start revenueing in July. But the big numbers are going to be next year because we need to roll out everything. Yeah, awesome. There's going to be a tremendous growth because uh, I'm coming to my second question. Uh, I saw over uh, time that you have developed in, uh, a very interesting network all over uh, the globe in many, many countries in Saudis, in Mexico. These are all countries that they are going to eventually uh, kick in with their numbers. Can you uh, explain uh, to our viewers uh, your vision with uh, adding all these, that strategy of going worldwide with you. Right. So our, our, our existing client base that we have signed up, okay, so th they were mostly uh, governments and hospitals. So they, they shut down because of COVID. But, uh, you know, it is very, uh, very clear that uh, they will reopen uh, from now to probably October, November this year. Uh, so some of those countries are having a little more difficulty with the, with the virus, but they will reopen. And uh, we believe that with the existing ones that we have in place, if they all restart in, uh, in let's say, September, October, October timeframe, this will be adding, uh, you know, probably uh, on a yearly basis around $2 million more. Uh, we also have very large prospects in the funnel that uh, we've been working on be before COVID, but COVID really slowed down. So we have uh, some very, very large uh, optical chains. We're actually working with the largest one in the world right now. And we are also working with... Uh, uh, I would say small to medium optometry chains also in Europe. We've signed a partner to cover uh, Germany, about the German countries. 
and say so they already have uh, about seven, eight very large prospects for us. Uh, in Canada, we have signed up uh, Laptician, who's a, our exclusive distributor outside of Quebec. And they also have five or six very large prospects right now, including the Ontario government and so forth. Uh, also with New Look, uh, we're gonna, they have a business development, a new business development unit to out, go out and do special projects. So uh, as an example, so the Quebec government will be issuing a request for proposal uh, that was supposed to come out last March, but it didn't happen because of uh, 2020, 2020. Uh, because of COVID, but now it's going it looks like it's going to come out in mid-summer. So Diagnose and Nulu will now bid on this uh, uh, project with the Quebec government to actually screen a million diabetics over three years. Uh, so they have 145 uh, point of care in Quebec. So it's very easy for us to work together and come up with the best winning solution for the Quebec government. So this is another business uh, unit type that we will have also going forward. Uh, we also, I talked about the clinical trial, so you'll see this uh, in the next few weeks. And in terms of uh, uh, other ophthalmic uh, group, we're concentrating our efforts right now in private clinics around the world. So you saw that we announced uh, a private clinic in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. So Maghrabi has 20 private clinics, uh, not clinics, 20 private hospitals, very, very big, very high tech. So uh, they will start also running by July, August timeframe in the 20 sites. So we see our future really, really now changing and we're looking at profitability before the end of the year on a quarterly basis. And the diagnosis will change because now is, I guess is our time, finally, after all these years. Andre, I'm coming to my third question. I saw that you fall into the, the eyes of Ashland Partners uh, starting to, to cover diagnose. Um, uh, can you comment on this? Sure. The analyst at Echelon uh, did an analyst report on diagnose and did a very uh, excellent, thorough job, actually called all the competitors in the U.S. and in Europe, uh, including Google. And, uh, and uh, I think the report is extremely precise and very important for anybody who wants to follow us. You can find the report on the Echelon website uh, under their analyst coverage. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. And for all our viewers, it was Mr. Andre Laron, president of Diagnose. Andre, once again, thank you very much for being on the show. Symbol ADK on the TSX Venture, $45 million market cap company. Andre, we look forward to seeing much more great news like this and, uh, and in 2022, some good result. Once yes. again, thank you very much, everyone, for being on the show with us today. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Merci.